start it. Always it's a good idea to do a warm up. It's only two minutes and it will really enhance your workout experience. So let's go ahead and start with a warm up. In the easy, right, we're gonna work our legs today and our arms. So let's just slowly get our legs warmed up. Our recommendation is to use XE without shoes on. We all wear shoes all day. So if there's an opportunity to take your shoes off, let's do it. Now with bare feet, you wanna make sure that you're on the soft side of your pedals, right? But a nice little warm up for your legs. About halfway through that warm up, let's come up and let's warm up our arms and get ready. Now the resistance, it's adjustable. You know, let's make it pretty easy when we're in our warm up. Just kind of get those muscle fibers firing. Get the arms, two, one. Let's come back and let's get our legs warmed up again. A little faster. So we're ready to jump right into the workout. This is a fun one because you get to go back and forth and back and forth between arms and legs. All right. I personally like to engage my core while I do this. I'm here, I feel like might as well get that done. All right, come up and do a moderate workout on our arms again. Keep your posture up. Check if there's the legs out a little bit. Focus on your arms, not your whole body moving, just your arms. Maybe a little spine, but I feel like I'm dancing when we do that. All right, now we're gonna jump right into the workout. First, let's say we're at 90, enter this so we can monitor our progress. Nice and easy. We're gonna start off with cycling our arms. All right. And that easy spin. Not hard to breathe, no resistance, nice and easy. We'll do that for 30 seconds on our arms. And then let's do these next 30 seconds in the green zone with our legs. Engage your core when you can. Keep your head up. You don't have to. You can take a break, especially when you're in the green zone. Just lay down and kind of relax and get ready. All right, 10 more seconds in the green zone and then we're gonna come up and we're gonna do our arms. Three, two, one. All right. Moderate zone here, right? You should be able to breathe. Feel like you're pushing it a little bit, not too much. We're gonna do this for one minute and then we're gonna transition to our legs. All right, keep your elbows in. Hands on the side is the best way for your, to protect your wrists. You can mix it up and do it this way. Just don't do it too much and too hard. Maybe at a more moderate capacity, but on the side is definitely the better way to do it. We've got 10 more seconds here in our moderate zone. We're gonna go to our legs, keep it in moderate. Now, we are huge fans of barefoot. You know, we spend way too much time during the day with our shoes on. So when there's an opportunity to take them off, might as well do it. One minute here with our legs. <laughs> This is our longest workout. All the others, they're short, designed for a quick break at the office, out and about, the soccer field. So this is our, and you can bundle them, but this is our longest workout here. I 
In our next zone, we're gonna get into our, an orange zone. It's zone four. And in that one, it should be push yourself a little harder. Maybe turn the resistance up a little bit. A little bit more difficult to breathe. Come up. All right, we're in zone four. I'm gonna turn the resistance up just a little bit. Now, as you're cranking, you wanna, you wanna push into the device. So you're really spinning. And if you have the resistance set up higher, you more crank. At this pace, I'm, I'm spinning. Twenty more seconds. Keep it going. You can do it in reverse if you want to break it up. Ten more seconds. Then we're gonna go to legs. All right. Now with legs, you might even want to crank it up a little bit higher on your resistance. Really engaging your quads here, your calf muscles. You can take your toes even and wrap them around the pedals a little bit. Put your cycling shoes on if you want to. Oh, the red zone's coming up. I can feel the red zone coming up. And it's a doozy. All right, 10 more seconds. Now here, on the, when you get into the red zone, so if you wanna really crank it up or just go fast, right? Or a combination of both. All right. If you're just starting, we have the XE bar that help keep this even more stable. But here, you engage your core and really push it. Ooh. Ooh. All right, almost there, halfway there, halfway there. Let's go. Ooh. Breathe, posture. Up. Twenty more seconds. You can do it. You can do it. Ah. All right. Ooh. Ten more seconds. Go hard. All right. Now red zone with your legs. You got it. You really want to put yourself in the red zone. Come up. Again, the bar will help keep this even more stable if you need it. But if you don't, really engage your core. Get yourself up, work out your butt. Go hard. Almost there, push it. Ten more seconds. All right. All right. All right, we're back into moderate. Not too much of a rest here. Maybe slow down a little. Take it in reverse. That resistance might be a little much for my moderate. <laughs> the idea here is to slow it down, but not too much. We're taking a lot of breaks and transitioning a lot 
between our arms and legs, which gives our muscles a break. here again you're a moderate pace should be able to breathe have a conversation you got a big red zone coming up so if you want to maybe take a lay on your back you know when you're on your back in this too if you want to you can tilt your pelvis a different level of workout for your lower abdomen. Hip flexors too. You're here, so make the most of your time while you're here. That's what we've, that's the reason we created the device. Anytime, anywhere, don't have a lot of time, hit it hard. All right, we're in the red zone. I'm gonna crank it up here and we're ready to go. One minute, one minute in red. From the sidelines, this would look hard, but we're doing it and no, and it would look easy. From the sidelines, it would look easy, but from while you're doing it, it's hard. The beauty about arms, you can burn a lot of calories using a much smaller muscle mass. And going, doing interval training will last the entire day, well after you stop. All right, we are almost to the legs. Push it hard. You got five seconds, four, three, two, one. All right, red zone with the legs. Turn the resistance up to whatever you need it to be. If you can lay here, come down, really get the core going. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, one. Back in the moderate zone of our arms. You should be sweating pretty good by now. <laughs> Again, slow it down. Do it in reverse if you need to or want to. Regroup before we get into that red zone again. If you take your arms out a little bit, you'll work a different muscle group. Right in triceps. All right. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, all right, two, one. Let's go to legs. All right, we're almost halfway through at this point and getting ready for our next red zone. There's only two more, this one and one more. So we can do it, you can do it.
Now getting ready here, if you feel like you need to up your resistance before you get into that red zone, go ahead and do it. Turn it up. All right, here we go. And we're in red again. Make sure you breathe. Take a break if you need it. But hit the red zone hard. Doing this for a minute is a tough, tough workout. But you can do it. Twenty more seconds. You need to reverse and do it hard if that helps. Work keep it going. Ten more seconds. Hit it hard with the legs. Tilt that pelvis. See one bottom. Work on your bottom core. Walk them up. Do both. Lift this and here. We're coming down. If you find yourself moving away, you can grab this and really hit hard. Or not, it depends on everybody's different. All right, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, moderate zone again. Here we go. Maybe turn it down. Enjoy your moderate zone. Catch your breath. I got almost 10 more seconds here. And we'll go to the moderate zone on our legs. And then you only got one more red zone. But two oranges. All right, let's do our legs. Moderate legs. We're gonna take you to an orange zone in this next one before we crank it up to red. A little ease into the red. But this last burst is tough. Take all your focus. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. This should be vigorous. Again, you can go fast at a lower resistance or harder with the resistance cranked up. One minute, just one minute. You can do anything for one minute, right? Got 30 more seconds here. Twenty.
All right, 10. Here we go. I'm just vigorous now. Not your max, but it's close. All right, one, let's go to, let's get to our legs. Work up to our final red zone here. Maybe rest <laughs> by laying down instead of gauging your core or engage it, whichever one you want. You know, we have this saying at XE is, healthy is for you to define, not anybody else. So you're in control of the pace, the resistance, everything, whatever makes you feel good. Ten more seconds. Go to our legs. Ah, I should bring go to red. <laughs> All right, crank it up. This is the last red zone. Hit it hard. One minute arms. One minute legs. You can do it. Have you looked at the temperature on the on the device? <sighs> It's getting up there. That's what we're trying to do. That is measuring real energy that you're putting out. There is no tricking it. It is what it is. You can go hard. All right, come on. 20 more seconds. 20 more. Oh. Oh. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, come on. Woo, okay, let's get on our legs. It's our last one. If you can do it, get your pelvis up there, work it hard. You're gonna feel so good after this. Go hard, go hard. Come on. You should feel some burn in your butt. If you're up, grab it here and really push it. Come on, wherever you gotta Take a break if you need to, but try. Don't worry about it moving. It's supposed to. All right. Woo! All right, this next one, we're still at moderate. Not too much of a break here. But a little bit. Keep breathing. Head up, posture. Good. You know, we're keeping your posture really good for your back right here. Getting strong back muscles. All right, 10 more seconds. You got it. All right, we're gonna finish this last minute on our back. Moderate pace. Really catch your breath. You should be really, really proud of yourself right now. This is a tough workout, but you'll feel the benefits of it well afterwards. In your arms, your legs, and in your life.
And if you're doing it around your family, awesome role model that this is important. All right, way to go. Now, you want to track your results because you worked hard. So look at your temperature, put it in, enter it, and track your results as well. So you can monitor your progress over time. Today's workout, amazing for me. I loved it. I want to do this one again. Just say where you did it, right? How do you feel? Recovering. Way to go. Good job. Have a great day.